Welcome to my YouTube automotive channel. In today's uh, short video, I will be talking about specific uh, airbag warning code B1018-00. This is a code that's quite common on older Nissan, such as uh, Nissan Rogue, Nissan Murano, Nissan Sentra, Altima, and Maxima as well. And you can see the airbag light on my vehicle is flashing. I scanned it and the code was B1018-00. Now this code points towards passenger occupancy sensor not working failure. And on this vehicle you can see here, this is the passenger airbag off. So how it's supposed to work? When a person sits onto the passenger seat, the passenger airbag is supposed to go on. And that uh, code points towards the sensor inside the seat is not working. So if somebody sits here, the passenger airbag will not go on and the passenger air airbag will not be working. So this is something you have to fix as soon as possible. Now, in some cases, it might be only a wiring problem. So the first step to do, you want to get under the seat and you will find like a yellow connector. I will show it to you actually right now. You just want to unplug it and plug it back in and possibly clean the connection. And that can hopefully uh, fix it for you. Try to get under the seat now and hopefully show it to you. Okay, you see this yellow connector? That's the one I was talking about. So you want to um, disconnect it, clean it up and connect it back. While you're doing that, there's a couple of connectors down here. Just make sure all the wiring, everything is nice and tight and sits uh, properly. And now if that, if that doesn't fix it, and most likely it will not, because this is a common Nissan problem, then, then you will have to either replace the passenger seat, or you will have to replace the passenger seat cushion, because that sensor is actually inside the seat, right? Um, so it's not really like unplug it, replace it, uh, put in the new sensor. You have to remove the whole cushion, and then it's just somewhere in the middle. So it's it's kind of kind of uh, an issue, yeah. I've dealt with that same code uh, in the past, and like honestly, your best option is uh, calling a couple of used car salvages and just getting com a complete new seat, and then replace the seat, and everything should be good to go. If you want to replace just the cushion, it's a hassle. Really, first you have to remove the seat. Then you have to disassemble everything, uh, so disassemble the complete seat just to get the cushion off. And the other thing is most uh, car salvages or wreckers will not sell you only the bottom portion of the seat. They will sell you the complete seat and you can get this seat for like a hundred bucks. So that's your best option. But again, you're kind of risking uh, if the seat from the salvage is also faulty right but that's that the risk you will have to take because they do not make these seats anymore and you cannot buy a sensor separately if you take this vehicle to a nissan dealer they will tell you need a new seat right now it's up to you what you want to do um but yeah yeah that's that's how it is unfortunately now on most Nissans, to remove the seat, you will have two bolts in the front, you see there is one here, one is on the other side, and you will have two of the same kind in the back part of the seat, and then you just have to unplug all the cables I showed you under the seat, and that's it. So removing the seat should take like 5 or 10 minutes. Again, of course, if you don't run into a problem like I did, in my case those bolts are completely rusted out, and I have hard time removing them. So I sprayed some WD-40 on those and hopefully uh, hopefully I'll be able to, to remove them. It should be an easy job, but it can get difficult in case the seat was never removed and these are kind of older vehicles, right? But yeah, that's it. So B1018-00 points towards failed sensor inside the passenger seat and you have to replace either the seat or the cushion to fix it. 
and I really don't recommend driving like this because you don't have the passenger airbag active. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and educational. If it was, please like it and consider subscribing to my YouTube automotive channel. On my channel, there is lots of how-to videos, do-it-yourself videos, car reviews, product reviews, and other similar automotive topics.